Over the past four years, we've grown to over 15,000 enrollees in 110 countries, and we'll do eight figures in revenue this year, all with Thinkific Plus. Hey, I'm Kyle Scott, president of Sirhan Ventures. I run Ryan Sirhan's education business. We teach salespeople all over the world how to achieve their unlimited potential through mastery of sales. We very much believe sales is the greatest skill in the world. I was a producer at NBC News for basically 10 years. I met Ryan at the end of my time there, ended up pitching him on an idea, what would it look like to take your best-selling book and turn it into a course? Because I had developed a relationship with him already, he said, sure, why not? I worked on it for basically nights and weekends for a year, we put it together between writing it, filming it, post-production, and then ultimately working with Thinkific to launch it on Thinkific's platform. It did more than we could have possibly ever imagined. There's actually a news article about this. We made $500,000 in two weeks. We were the number one course launch of all of 2019, and out of what was then more than 200,000 courses on Thinkific, we were number two of all time within those first two weeks, which was 0.001% of all courses. We now have seven signature courses on Thinkific, which are five to six hour courses that teach a specific area of sales. For example, closing and negotiation. For example, how to build sales systems. Over time, we've kept iterating on these courses. The vision for the first one is very different from the vision from where we ended up. The thing that you put out last year is no longer good enough for what's needed today. And that's how it should be. So how do you launch a course? Number one, the qualification comes in what are you actually an expert in? And what have you succeeded at doing? What is the credibility that you have? Number two is who is the audience that you want to serve? This is all about helping others achieve something through the content that you're going to produce from them. And number three, what are the results that you imagine that audience can get from your course? So if you take your expertise plus passion, identify who's the right people that you want to serve, and then what are the results that you want for that audience? you can then start to actually develop the content to deliver the results that you want to deliver. One of the common challenges that I see time and time again when I'm working with others who wanna create their own course is the challenge of scoping. How do you decide how broad to go for your first course versus how narrow? The answer to that question completely depends upon the results that you want your audience to get. That will determine the answer to the scoping question. After you determine that scoping question, how do you define quality and how do you make sure that your course is quality? Again, it depends upon you and the value that you wanna to provide to your audience. I've seen courses that are just a PowerPoint slide with a talking head in front of the PowerPoint slide. That's totally fine. I don't want you to let thinking that you have to have high production values get in the way of getting started today. Use a test and learn philosophy. I'm proud that we built an entrepreneurial culture at Sirhan, one that is completely full of energy to build something bigger than any of us who work here, something that can have more impact than anyone could have alone, and also something that's 100% driven by curiosity. Go to sellitlikesirhan.com to join the number one membership for sales professionals just like you. Because guess what? Welcome to the course business, you're now in sales. <laughs> Boom!